Hello, everybody. Welcome to week three of the gifts of the Holy Spirit in you. Today, our focus is using your gifts to serve others. Our text for today is 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 to 11. And this text, it starts off talking about the end of the world coming soon. And don't get too hung up on that. It, there's a re- reality for us that, yes, Jesus is coming back one day. And we should be ready. And we should be earnest and disciplined in our prayers. That we should want to, to, to talk and converse with God Because he is coming again one day. And then it says that we should love. And that we should use our love to cover a multitude of sins. And this is is not us being able to to love somebody that would atone for the sins that we've committed. I think some of us instantly go there, oh man, I I can make everything right if I just love. Okay, great. It's not atonement for sins. It's not payment for sins. It's a willingness and ability to walk in forgiveness. That's what's covering the sin. It's like when a a husband and wife get into an argument and maybe they said some things they shouldn't have said. Maybe they did something they shouldn't have done and then they come immediately after and say, hey, I'm I'm really sorry that I did that. I, I didn't mean, I didn't want to do that. And I'm so sorry and I really want to change. And I hope the power of the Holy Spirit can help me change. But then the other spouse will say, well, I love you and I forgive you. But that is what's covering a multitude of sins, not their, some sacrifice that they made. And then it says that we should cheerfully open our homes. And this is a very practical thing for for the Christians of that time, when they faced persecution and all of those really terrible, uh, atrocious things that were being committed to Christians, that they sometimes had to escape and, and leave, and then the Christians should be able to open their home to fellow Christians and cheerfully and joyfully share their, their space and their food and their house. And then it says that we should serve. We should serve our gifts and serve them well. And so my question really for you is, how are you serving? Have you felt that maybe you didn't feel as fulfilled in life? Have you felt maybe that there's something more, maybe it's something greater, something bigger for you? And it might be because you're not serving. Because when we serve, all sorts of wonderful things happen. It's, it's, it's so better for our health. It's better for our, our mental health. It's just better for us to be serving and using our gifts to serve people. And so my encouragement for you today is as we get into the text, as we answer the questions, as we fill out the assessments, is that we pause and we start to ask the question, how will I this week serve somebody with the gift that God has given me? Because God has given you an amazing gift. How can you bless someone this week with that gift? How can you serve? If you're already committed to serving, how can you do that better? If you haven't been in a a, a serving kind of relationship with someone or some some entity, ask the question, how do I get involved? And then do it. And you'll find a lot of amazing and wonderful things happen when we're able to humble ourselves and serve, just like Jesus who came to the cross died for us, serving us in a way that we couldn't possibly imagine, giving up his own life to do that for us. And so we serve because we love Jesus and we can point people to him. So blessings to you as you go and serve this week. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time to be able to gather around your word, to be able to gather in groups and to talk and dialogue. Lord, may you reveal your gifts to them. May you show them what they're good at, what they're passionate about, and may they use those things to serve and love each other. Modeling the way that you have loved and served us. Lord, we love you. We pray all this in your great and beautiful name.